I had to make a choice or I continue to race or I go into ministry. Once I came to America, it was a big dream to buy a go-kart. Back in Brazil, I didn't have enough money to do that. And that year I began racing. I began like in the middle of the season. By August, I won my first race. I ended up finishing second place in the championship with half of the races of everybody else. Because of that, some companies saw that I had some potential, so I got some sponsorships. And then in 2003, I raced three different categories. In 2004, I was invited to uh, do some tests uh, for a professional company, and I would have the opportunity to uh, become a professional racer. Here's the winner, number 10, first place. And I decided to go into ministry and I dropped racing. My name is Max Perra. I'm a dad. I know. I'm gonna shave this hair, huh? Huh? They look like me? No. They don't want to look like daddy. No. No. I am a pastor. Just remind I had to call someone because Sam applied for a job. They called me for reference and I forgot to call them. Mm. <laughs> Sam, is it those? Yeah. All for the. Um, yeah. Oh man, I forgot. The homeless shelter, probably? Yeah. I forgot to call them. Yeah, thank you. Just no remind me. Whoa, that, you know, doesn't keep their, 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 their word. In a world that's every day worse and worse, and we still can find some happiness, we still can live in peace. Knowing that what God says never comes back empty. Every, every, everything he says has a purpose and will be you know, done. So that's, that's very encouraging. You know? When I had the opportunity, it was actually a very big opportunity for me. Yeah, there was a lot of money involved and everything. It was very tempting, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't hard to decide. I was, I was surprised, I know, because for a while it was really feeling God called me into ministry, so when that call came, I didn't think twice. So I knew it, you know, what path to take. Just this one here, that's better. I had bigger ones, I don't know where they are. Yeah, that's uh, Pablo Montoya's so. brother here, right behind me. Oh, <laughs> I went to work in construction. I opened my own little company, so that's what I do. I do some house remodeling, small construction work. I'd rather to do small jobs so I can be flexible for the ministry. My lifestyle changed a lot. We had to make some cuts and live a much simpler life. But it still, God has been blessing us because God put people in our lives that will see the needs of our family and people are generous uh, to do stuff for us that really help us and comfort the kids and times like that. So I trust the Lord and I knew that the church needed more time to develop, I needed to dedicate more time to the church. Our church is a small church of immigrant people that they don't have all the resources to maintain a, a full-time pastor. So I'm willing to work and, and still continue pastoring that church, but it's not the ideal way to do ministry. So I decided to trust on the Lord. So we had just to re 
restructure the way we lived, to live with less. It was not an easy decision, but I was, I was, I was in peace. I actually was in peace. Uh, I, I knew that it was the right direction you know, uh, to take, and I do not regret at all. It is a challenge sometimes. <laughs> like this winter, I almost had no work at all. We didn't lack. God found ways to provide and help us. Yeah, so we just trust in the Lord. Né? que o Senhor venha preparar os nossos corações para a resposta dEle, porque o Senhor responde todas, não deixa nenhuma sem resposta, mas às vezes Ele diz sim, às vezes Ele diz não, e às vezes Ele manda a gente esperar, né? então que a gente esteja preparado para a resposta que Ele nos dê, amém? Que a vontade dEle seja feita nas nossas vidas. Se Ele viu isso, é It's my baby. <laughs> I love that church. I love the people. I love that I can serve my community. Let's say I spend more than half of my life in, in Newark, New Jersey. I know the needs of that community, how we need Jesus there. And I love that I am able to serve. The city view is Like the name says, our vision was for the cities. You know, it's a downtown city. It's it's where not a lot of people wanted to be, wanted to deal with people. And God put in my heart to serve and love the people that are looked down. Maybe that might be the, the purpose of this thing. situation. Yes, God is supposed to help you to understand. I, you know, you're receiving, but are you also willing to give? Because that's what he does. He gave everything to us. And, the 12 and now we're taking, yes, and then, then we take it. But now are we willing to give too? I want to continue to serve. I still want to continue to study. I am really praying for an open door where I could have the resource that I could do a, advanced studies. I want to go to master seminary and do a doctor of ministry degree there. I want to refine my preaching because I think there's nothing else is more important for a pastor than be able to teach the true gospel in a very effective and clear way. And I think I'm not there yet. <laughs> so I think I need more training. So I I have this goal. I want to continue loving my family and being able to serve them and see my kids grow and form their own families. And, and I you know, and more than being successful uh, workers in the world, and, and I want them to be successful uh, Christians. Uh, uh, so this is my other goal, to, to be a father that can model Christ at home so they can love Christ for what he is.